Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the space diagonal. So there's going to be a first a page of notes with me, and then we'll do a problem together, and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is a space diagonal? Well, a space diagonal is actually a dimension of a rectangle prism, and here's an example right here. So here we have, it looks like a cube, or a rectangle prism, and it's basically a line connecting Okay, two vertices that are not on the same face. So imagine like this is the box, and we had a bar that goes from this corner all the way down to the front, other side of the, the front of the box, like that. Okay. Um, here we have another rectangle prism, and a space diagonal would be this line right here. It's kind of dotted, but let's, let's trace over it. So this is going from the back right corner to the front left corner. Um, if I wanted to draw a space diagonal of this rectangle prism, let me use a different color here, I could go from point D all the way across to point F. I could go from point C all the way across to point E. I could go from point G all the way across to point A. Or I could go from point E all the way to point C. So let's go with, um, how about D to F. So I'm going to draw a dotted line going from the back left to the front right. And that's the space diagonal. All right. Now this lesson is about how do you determine the actual length of a space diagonal. And there's a couple ways of doing it. I'm going to show you, uh, in my opinion, the, the easiest way. So if you turn the page, there's actually a formula that you can use to determine the space diagonal. Okay. And what you do is, if you know the length, width, and height of a rectangle prism, well, what you do is you square the length, you square the width, and you square the height. You take those three numbers and you add them together to get the sum. And then you take the square root okay, of that sum. All right. So let's do a problem here. So here we have a rectangle prism. And we know the length is 7. We know the width is 5. And we know the height is 4. So let's actually plug in the value. So it's going to be the square root of 7 squared plus 5 squared plus 4 squared. All right, and before we can take the square root, we need to square these numbers. So that's going to be 49, right, plus 25 plus 16. And then when I add 49, 25, and 16, I get 90. So the square root of 90 is actually our exact answer, okay? But if I type that into a calculator and get the square root of 90, and if I round, I'd get a distance of 9.49 centimeters. And there it is, okay? So really, that's how easy it is to get the space diagonal. If you know the length, the width, and the height, okay, you square the length, you square the width, you square the height, add them together, and then take that number and get the square root, of that number and that's that's the, your answer all right so now that you understand a little more about the space diagonal why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now and when you're done hit play you can see how you did all right good luck all right welcome back let's say you do with this practice problem so Again, we want to find the, the length of the space diagonal, okay? And I could draw that distance from, say, this corner here to the front of this corner right, right there. That'd be the space diagonal. So we need to take the square root sign, and inside there we need to add up the square of all the, the dimensions. So it's going to be 5 squared plus 9 squared plus 4 squared. And when I simplify that, well, 5 squared, I know, is 25. 9 squared is 81. And 4 squared is 16. And 25 plus 81 plus 16 is 122. And if I use a calculator to get the square root of 122, and if I round, I'm going to get an answer of 11.05 centimeters. All right? So because I rounded, that's an approximation, so I'm going to give a little 
approximate uh, sign, and there it is. All right, so again, define the space diagonal of a shape. Okay, you need to know the length, the width, and the height of the rectangular prism, and then you just plug in the values into this formula, and that's how easy it is. All right, bye-bye.